What's happening hardscapers today? We're building a French string. Let's get into this. So as you can see in the back, we had to get our excavator between this, which was 41 inches and our excavator was 39 inches. So we just had enough access. Tight squeeze, especially from here to the fence line and at the top. So we just had to push on the fence a little bit to be able to get this to the back, but we got it. Now the problem is this is on an angle with the swale. So our mini X was just about by the fence. So we actually had to lean on the fence a little bit just to get that extra clearance to get it in the back. But once we got past this corner, which is the tightest corner, the rest of it was smooth sailing. So luckily we got it in the back. Big problem that we had was once we did the back excavation, the excavation through here, the tracks couldn't extend wide enough that I felt comfortable that the trench wouldn't collapse. With the digging of the excavation bucket being 12 inches, the tracks would have been right on the edge and it was pretty sloppy enough that I it would have collapsed, I think. Uh, so I didn't feel safe enough to do that. So I actually had to hand dig um, a lot of this, but I did loosen it up as I, as I exited the excavator through this alleyway, I did uh, loosen it up as I went, as opposed to picking it up, putting it in the, in the wheelbarrow. There just uh, wasn't a way to do that. So I loosened it up as we went, and then we came back with the wheelbarrow and then hand shoveled into the wheelbarrow. Here we are, we're gonna be tying in so we're going to stop right there with a pop-up emitter and we've got enough fall from there to the front there's a nice slope as well as that swale is very aggressive so i think right there is going to be the way to go to stop we're going to be tying in this downspout into here and this is our trench we're 16 inches down all the way down to about 20 probably about 18 20 inches in the deep end and down here so this is the bad spot this is where a lot of rain is pooling and uh, so we want to be low enough that we're going to capture that as well as i wanted a wide enough trench here because this is the problem spot as well as this i added this one in just because i wanted to make sure we're taking care of all the water that's going to be coming and then we've got a two percent slope all the way down to our pop-up emitter so now we're going to lay in our fabric pipe and then we got gravel delivered, so that'll go in next.
end of day one, we got our excavation done, fabric down, pipe in. This is a 67 linear foot run, just for some context. Our drainage area is 16 inches and about 16 inches down for the most part on average. Uh, so that's a little bit of concept as to how much we had to dig out, how much material came out, and then we put two yards of uh, three quarter inch angular crushed clear stone on top of our pipe. So that's our pop-up emitter. I'm gonna dig out and plop it in there. And then we're just going to burrito wrap this. So we got one side going in, one side will cut off the excess uh, soil and sod on top. We gotta touch up some areas. Then we'll have a solid pipe coming in and tying into our T. <laughs> At the end where our slope goes down and we've got our tie-in from our downspout solid pipe through there to a T to our perforated pipe which also goes all the way back and got to do some cleaning up seed a little bit around the edges but ideally by the end of this you wouldn't even know we're here after some cleaning up and some seed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do recommend if you wanna learn more about French drains, the French Drain Man channel is actually a great channel. I do recommend that you check that out for French drains and drainage in general. Uh, that's a great channel. And uh, comment below any questions that you may have liked this video, you found helpful for whatever reason, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more housekeeping content like this. Thank you so much for watching.